Hello guys and welcome to another pickup video. It's been such a long time that I honestly can't actually remember when I did one. I think the last one I did I got that uh the Super Pro system in Television 3, I think. Which I've had that for a while now, so that if that's any indication. Uh so this is gonna be kind of a reboot of the old pickup videos where I will show up uh we'll be showing video games, but I'm also gonna be showing just cool things I like that I picked up because why not but I will always start with the video games that way if you're not here for the for anything else once the video games are done you can click and leave and be happy and merry all right so the first game I picked up was these next four I got on a deal on Facebook for 20 bucks each which two of them have chips in the, the discs they still work but I still even if I remove these two from the equation uh, I got about $30 worth of games. If I put these two in, I got about 60 to 70 depending on how you look at it. But the first one is Dark Souls 1. A game I fucking love. I've had many, many copies of it. This is actually a gift, which is kind of why... The only reason I was kind of disappointed that it was cracked and the only reason I picked it up is... I'm hunting down currently about three copies for three of my friends that are wanting it. Uh, it's going to be kind of a surprise gift for them. I'll still give this one out, but it will be with a warning. Uh, I'm going to recommend them to install it to their hard drive, so it just has to read it. Read the, It does a disk check, I think, to see if the right disk is in, and it doesn't run the disk. So, there's that. Next one I got is for me, and uh, again, it's a game I have multiple copies of. I just didn't have this version of it, and that is Dark Souls 2 Black Armor Edition. So this is the one that came with the... The controversial DLC that everyone got up in arms about, but what they didn't mention is how cool the fucking steelbook is. I did not know it came with the steelbook this whole time. Again, this one is cracked a little bit. This one's lesser than the Dark Souls one, but it's fine. It comes with the the Black Armor DLC, which was already redeemed, and the soundtrack. So I was really happy to get this. And uh, who makes the steelbook? offbeat props to them this is a really it's not a typical steel book it's I don't know how well that's gonna show it's got like the a bigger hinge on it but it's it's also raised quite a bit I'm trying to it's gonna it's gonna look weird but uh it's it's quite raised it's really nice but yeah happy to get that then next up we got Tales of Vesperia for the 360 this is going to need a light resurface. It still runs. It installed fine. And I just don't like having scratched games in my collection, so I will end up getting it resurfaced at some point. As I'm struggling. There we go. No manual on that one, which, eh. Um, I've never really gotten into the Tales series. I have a few of the games. I figure, I've heard a lot of people say this is a good one to start off on, so I might as well. I'm a huge JRPG fan, so I might as well. And the next one, and I'm pretty sure the guy never even played this game. It still had that, like, uh, seal over the little, you can't see it, seal right there. It was just busted a little bit. So I opened it up. The case is in fantastic condition. The manual still smells new. There's no scratches on the disc. And that is Death Smiles, which is another Axis, Axis, Axis game? Axis? A-K-S-Y-S, I've never been able to pronounce that, which, <sighs> I have a gut feeling they're going to have a lot of expensive games on the 360 when, once that thing gets old enough, just because they have low production runs, and a lot of their games aren't even really heard of, and they're pretty good, like, Battle Fantasia was fucking fantastic for a fighting game, which, what is the other one I was looking at the other day that I have? It wasn't called a set sorry, was it? I don't think it was that one. But a batshit insane shooter. I've had a few friends play this and talk to me about it. And I've never been a shoot 'em up fan, so I was like, yeah, whatever. I saw that on the in the post for five bucks, and I'm like, sure. Lo and behold, I'm enjoying the fuck out of that. Next up is Corpse Party Blood Drive. This is the Ever After edition, which after doing some research, this is the only fucking edition they put out, so I don't know why it's called an addition when it's just the regular ass copy of the game with bonuses a uh, pretty cool collector's edition I must say the book is solid it's 
it's got some really cool concept art in it. The two disc soundtrack I haven't really listened to yet. The game, however, I don't think it's my cup of tea. I was really wanting to like it because I have a lot of friends that are into this this series. I just don't think it's for me. I'll definitely give it another shot at some point, though. So, next two items are video game related, but they are not video games, so if you want to check out, I will see you guys later. First up, we have an HDMI splitter, which is a lifesaver for the next item, and I didn't even think it would be, to be quite fair. But yeah, just a plain ass HDMI splitter, which I got for this, the Elgato HD60. And you need the splitter to use it with the PS3 because of, uh, I always get the lettering wrong, HDCP locking on the PS3? I think I said that right. So you have to use the splitter to use the, the ca this capture card. Uh, but it's actually turning out to be more useful than I thought because then I can just plug whatever console I want into the back of the splitter and I don't have to have this thing, like, it's, it's a good card. It's not designed all that well, to be quite fair. Like, let me show you. So you'll have one HDMI on this end, and one HDMI on that, and the power is right here, which what they should have done is put everything on one side, but they didn't. But the splitter helps prevent that, because you can just put one, you don't need to have anything coming out of here, just put one into here, power out to the computer, and you're set to go. So if you don't know, I stream on Twitch I don't want to say every day, but close to every day. It's usually Dark Souls and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a big help. Uh, the past few days that I've been streaming with this, it's uh, it'll start to glitch. The actual card will start to glitch out on in OBS. So and I'll have to unplug the HDMI, plug it back in, and it'll fix it. Uh, so I did a test on it, and it records video fine. I did a three-hour test playing Dark Souls one yesterday. So, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I'm going to contact Elgato about that and hopefully get that fixed. Alright, so that's the last of everything video game related. Next up, we got one album. And that is Operation Ivy Energy, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. And it got a re-release in 2010. Yeah, 2010, that I never fucking knew about. It was on Hellcat Records, which is Tim Armstrong's record label. So... Yeah, like Hellcat Records put out some of my favorite albums of all time, be it Dropkick Murphys, Rancid, and stuff like that. And I did not know they released a re-release of Operation Ivy with alternate cover artwork, which I like this one much better. I'm actually thinking about incorporating this into some tattoos soon, so that might be something I show on the channel. Who knows? Alright, now we got some movies. First up, might as well go with this one. I saw this on uh, Amazon, and it was a dollar, plus two dollars shipping, and that was the Alien Quadrilogy, and you're about to see a trend in things I'm showing, but it looks like it, it looks like it's been ran over by a truck a few times. I wasn't that concerned, it was three dollars, but then I got it, and all the discs are in brand new fucking condition, so that's a plus, and you're not going to believe this. This is the most outlandish packaging I think I've ever seen. It even beats the X file the original release X Files DVDs if you're old enough to remember those. The ones that were like almost a hundred fucking dollars when they came out. But this, I'm trying to pick it up right now. This I can't even show it in frame. It is so unbelievably big. Like it's nine discs. All oh, it's it's insane. The only reason I bought this version, and I figured most people don't watch the bonus discs, and this has some stuff that has only been released on this set, and the bonus disc, disc was fine, and all the other discs work too, so that was awesome. And in some sad news, today Bill Paxton passed away, so, uh, rest in peace, brother. Next up, I got the anniversary editions of Alien and Aliens. I'm going to show them side by side. Which are horrible. Don't buy these unless you can get them really cheap. They're, the video quality is fine. And the little extras that they put in those little packets, those are fine. But the Blu-rays don't even have special features that the DVDs fucking had. These are straight up rips from the, the anthology Blu-ray set. 
So all the special features that you mark on these discs, you can't watch unless you have unless you have the anthology version, which has that bonus disc disc that you can watch them on. It's so dumb. It is the dumbest shit ever. But anyways, aliens. And this one has a hard hard case. Like it feels like a hardback book. This one is flimsy ass paper that kind of which sucks because this is my favorite alien movie. But the front artwork is unbelievably cool. All right, and the last thing, and uh, I bought this before I bought those two things. That's how I knew about the that it was a ripped version, and I might have just given this away. I bought the Alien Anthology, which is a fucking fantastic set, which is kind of funny because that shit. Uh, Alien Resurrection is still a shitty movie. Uh, I was talking to a friend at work, and he was like, "No, dude." Just rewatch it, dude. It's not as bad as you remember it. It is that bad. It really is. I'll give people that. Alien 3 isn't as bad as people make it out to be. It's not great. But man, Resurrection is awful. But this is a really cool set. This is the actual book that it comes in. And it actually comes in like a book fashion. So it's kind of like the Back to the Future trilogy that they released. The 30th anniversary. I have it sitting over there. I should just look at it. Um, I've heard some people complain that, that they go into cardboard like this. I prefer that because uh, when you push disc into those cases, a lot of the times that's how you get cracks. And it was understandable why they did that for the first run of disc based media because that was really all you could do. But with the advent of Blu ray, you can put them in cardboard things and it's not going to scratch them because Blu rays you have to hit them with a damn truck to scratch them. So I prefer that. So I, I was really happy with this set. And that is all I have. I do have a few more videos planned. There is a pickup I had about two, or about a year and a half, maybe two years ago at this point. No, I want to say I got it in late 2015. So it's been a while. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to shoot the video. That's the problem. It's a, it's a really cool one, but I don't know how I'm going to shoot it. Uh, especially now that I don't really have a camera which I'll talk about that later. I'm using my tablet right now. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for stopping by. And hopefully you'll stick around for more. There, There's going to be more stuff. I've been really wanting to make more videos. I just didn't know how. And then I was looking on my tablet, and I'm like, this thing has a fucking camera. Let's check that out. And the quality doesn't look the worst. So we'll see. Anyways, I will see you guys later.